What's up everybody? It's Taikina Beauty. I'm here with a new video. This is a Bratz cosplay, Yasmine. I've always been inspired by her. She was my first doll I got growing up as a kid. And the funny story behind that is that my mom, she went to the store and she was like, I was looking for a doll that looked just like you. And I saw this one here and I thought she was cute and she reminded me of you. And long and behold, she brought me home my very first Yasmin doll. So I've always coincided with Yasmin from the Bratz and just them in general, giving me the confidence, always being there for me and just an inspiration for me. I was always a Bratz girl, not so much a Barbie girl. I had the Bratz plane, the Bratz cars, everything you name it. It definitely was my thing as a kid and it'll always have a soft spot for me in my heart. It is a well deserved cosplay i think this was long overdue so i'm definitely ready to do this i hope you guys do like this video and stay tuned for the final look okay first things first we're gonna moisturize i'm using a sunscreen called the black girl sunscreen i did not get it off of target because i'm boycotting target i got it off their website We're next going to go in with the Lily Lolo foundation. I got the shade Lace. I don't know why it's called Lace, but it is. I like this because it's close to my skin tone, so it matches very well. Make sure you pack that under your concealer. And we're going to make sure we get our eyes moisturized with that moisturizer. So that's important. That's by nature. And we're going to use rose water to saturate the blending brush, blending sponge with water going in with pacifica they have like a three colored concealer corrector which i do really appreciate because it's non-toxic organic and then we're going in pacifica their beachy punk palette i don't know the names of the colors i'm using wait let me check yes i do i'm going in with schooled it's like that orangey pink color then we're gonna go in with this purple color called pretty vacant um, those are basically the two colors we're going to be using throughout the whole thing. I like this because I noticed these are the colors uh, Yasmin tends to go to. I really did coincide with Yasmin because she's very bohemian. And I went in with the Pacifica Crystal Matrix palette with the pinky purple color Mars and just topped that off. And I thought it looked really great with the other colors from the Pacifica palette. These palettes are really good and they are affordable. This palette is on sale, so take that advantage. Now we're gonna put my powder foundation on. I decided to use powder because I noticed liquid would be more cakey, I guess, in my opinion. So I wanted to do powder because I feel like the brats have a very matte finish look. So I wanted to go with that. And then we're just going back in with the color we used from the first Pacific palette and just putting in the eye. Then of course we have to put the dot in gotta do that I'm using an eyeliner from Zuzu Lux the next is the liner part I like the way I do my liner I don't like to put it all over my eye because I have big eyes I mean it's up to you guys you guys can definitely do it all over the eye if you want to but I decided not to I just like to put it at the corners it's really easy and quick um, how I do my liner I just first I just draw a line then I just fill it in so you're kind of like tracing a triangle if that makes sense to you guys I hope it does what I noticed with the brats if they have liner it's very thick and distinct so I wanted to make sure my liner was thick and distinct I did mess up a little bit but the great thing about it being a thick liner don't worry you guys you can just keep lining until you make a straighter line and I think it looks really thick and good. Thick! Yeah. Pretty simple. Then we're going in with a mascara. The mascara I'm using is the Dote and Hot. I will link it below. I'm not too crazy about it because it is organic vegan. But it dried out not even within a month I bought it. And it still works a little bit, but you can tell it's not the greatest. It just looks very dry. So I won't be purchasing it again because I did pay like almost $30 just for it to get shipped to me. Not too happy about that. I'm El Cheapo. Now we're going to highlight, do a subtle highlight with a natural organic 
highlighter. The highlighter I used was Zuzu Lux. I really like that highlighter. It's the perfect color for my skin tone in my opinion, uh, but I do think this highlighter is universal in general, so I think you guys should try it. I will be linking that. Then I'm just going in with that purple, the color Raw Power. Gotta just put that down in there. And I'm using a black owned lash line in the Style Arizona. I bought these lashes for $1.99. I'm going to see if I can find them. They were nice. I actually liked them and they were reusable and she shipped really fast. I'm going to link her down below. These lashes are from the black owned business called Shop Sun Noor in the Style Arizona. I will link these below. They're only $2.99. You guys should check them out. She has dresses and clothes on there too and I think they're fairly priced. They're a great alternative for Fashion Nova because I don't stand and we shouldn't stand. Don't stand Fashion Nova. And then I'm going in with the Zuzu Lux Contour shade i think this is the darkest one i'll link that below too as well i'm just blending it in now so it doesn't look muddy i know the contour probably wasn't really needed because they have brats have round ass heads but i like to contour so this is something optional you can do and the eyelash glue i did use was the regular degler duo the blue bottle squeezy tube the blues tube not too crazy about this because I'm very impatient and I did have to redo it over, um, but I did it. Uh, it's so hard explaining how to apply eyelashes, I guess because I'm so used to it. But if you guys do want a video, please let me know and I will make one. And now I'm unboxing this black owned lip gloss company called Lipmatic. I was so excited to try this shade. I noticed Yasmin, she goes towards these purple colors and that's kind of not my thing, but she's been making me love this. So I love this purple lip, super smooth. I love the consistency, didn't dry my lips out and it just felt really nice on my lips. Like, look at that, you guys, very nice. This was in the shade Flushing Fuchsia. I bought this like at the beginning of the week and it came pretty quick. So I was excited about that too as well. Again, it's a good consistency. See, it's not sticky. And the great thing about it, it's black owned, which I really liked. Wow, I think I look just like her. Now, last but not least, we're going to do a setting powder. Uh, for some reason, this iHerb setting powder I bought on their site, it just works really well, especially under my eyes. I have really dark circles, so I do like applying it there. So I will be doing that. The only thing I do have a concern with is that this is a messy setting powder. So when you're doing your makeup, if you do decide to buy this, you don't want to wear the shirt you're going to be wearing out because you will get that setting powder on it. I'm doing thumbnails for you guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> That's how like dedicated I was to this. And then we're going to uh, spray that rose setting spray and then the setting powder. So everything sets off nicely. I like to wait a little while for the setting powder to set into as well. So I'm not going to immediately take it off. But overall, it's coming together really great. I think I really do look like Yasmin. No cap. All right, so how'd we do? I really love this look. I think it looks just like the Yasmin from the Bratz show. It looks amazing. Uh, we did well. Um, I got inspiration from her rose shirt. I have a rose tank on. I love flowers. 
and I just could picture me watching the show and what she would wear. So I think that definitely did help. But if you guys like this video, please thumbs up for more cosplay content. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did doing this for you guys. If you have any suggestions of what I should cosplay next or any tutorials or videos in general, please request it down below. You never know, the video I might do might be the one you requested. So I'll see you guys next time in a new video. I hope you guys are staying safe. Don't forget, Black Lives Matter. You guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys later in another weekly video. Bye, you guys. Later.